what up green gang today i wanted to go over the difference between a plant that has nannered out at the end of its life cycle or may have nannered early on and flowering two or three weeks in and then difference between a true hermaphrodite plant now technically a nanner is a type of hermaphrodite but it isn't a full hermaphrodite plant and there is a big difference and what you can do to try to save your plant or not save your plant when you have uh, either one of these three different types of hermaphrodite plants or nanners so let's get into what each is about so this is a nanner and sometimes these come out on your plant later in the life cycle when you were supposed to harvest maybe a week earlier and this is the plant just trying to save itself from extinction and to carry on its genetics to the next cycle so it will never go extinct now these type of nanners aren't very uh, detrimental they don't harm the the plant a whole lot and it won't harm your harvest a lot because uh, by the time these are coming out um, you should probably be harvesting or already harvested a little bit before that and they there is no time for seeds to develop when nanners form later in life like that now there are a few nanner um, situations where two or three weeks into flower you can find some nanners coming out of the buds and at that point in time you probably want to just scrap the whole plant and the way I would do that is by taking just some purified water and putting that in a sprayer and spraying down that entire plant as well as any of the plants around it to make sure that maybe if any of the pollen got out it is neutralized and then I would put a bag over top of that plant and then cut it at the base and throw away that whole plant uh, unfortunately that does happen sometimes but uh, if you do great research into the breeder and or the cultivar that you're trying to grow uh, that shouldn't happen too often um, sometimes if you're growing from a bag seed that'll happen more often than not and then there's the um, nanners that come in a few weeks before harvest and what you can do with those if that happens to you is you can pick them out um, just like before I like to take a small spray bottle and spray them very lightly first and then take some tweezers and pick out the, the nanners and you can um, squeak along until harvest or uh, harvest a little bit early that's that's kind of up to you now uh, other than that if you get a nanner post harvest when maybe you should have harvested a little earlier maybe you were going for that and you wanted to try to get a feminized seed of that strain to try to keep around but um, that that's what a nanner is and that that's not really a, a true hermaphrodite a true hermaphrodite looks like this where you see the balls and the flower and the pistils that's what a true hermaphrodite looks like now what a, a nanner is is the very inside of the pollen sac it's the stamen and sometimes the stamen has multiple or the stamen excuse me sometimes the pollen sacs have multiple stamens and most often than not they do but the nanner is a single stamen that instantly produces uh, pollen as soon as it appears so that's why if you have one on, earlier on you're going to want to get rid of that plant and if it happens later on in life or like a few weeks before harvest or maybe a little after when you were supposed to harvest it's not that big a deal because there's no uh, time for seeds to form in that short amount of time now the same thing um, as with the nanners as with the true hermaphrodites they can show up early in flower and if that happens uh, you're gonna have to get rid of them right away spray them and get rid of them sometimes they'll wait until about halfway through flower and you'll find out you'll have a hermaphrodite plant in your garden and you'll have to spray it just like with the nanners spray it thoroughly though because it's the plant you're getting rid of and then also spray down any plants that are next to it with just plain water and that should neutralize any pollen that's around and you want to make sure that uh, if you are spraying your plants um, that are in flower with just water you want to do this 20 or 30 minutes before the lights are on or to go in there and dim all your lights down to the minimum um, brightness that they have 
All right, so now we know a little bit about each. Now what causes either of these uh, nanners or hermaphrodites? Well, first off, genetics. That's why in the cannabis content community here, we always say genetics, genetics, genetics. You need to start with good base genetics to make sure that in normal conditions, your plant's not going to hermaphrodite or nanner. Now on the topic of that normal conditions, um, anything that are, is extremely high temperature and humidity swings or uh, having your light too close to the plant, giving it too much light, um, extreme drought stress and um, overwatering stress, extreme nutrient depletion and deficiencies can um, trigger a plant to hermaphrodite or throw a nanner. Especially if it's already in its genetic makeup, those extra stressors can make it go over the top and uh, hermaphrodite or nanner out on you. So it's super important that you keep a uh, good environmentals, uh, steady environmentals is the most important thing. Whatever um, you can keep that at, hopefully that's around 76 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit and around 55 to 65% relative humidity. Um, as well as keeping you know, the light intensity at the proper proportions, you should be completely fine and not have to worry about it with good genetics. Uh, with bag seeds or other things like, uh, you know, hermaphroditated seeds that may have pollinated a plant before on a last crop, those things have the tendency to do the same thing and hermaphrodite or nanner out early. So that's why you're going to want to get rid of those right away. If the plant that you have, um, you've noticed you definitely let it go too long and it threw off an anner and gave you a couple of seeds, those seeds you might, you can keep around and grow a few times if you want. Uh, they may nanner out just like that way late in the flower, but you should be pretty good to go with those uh, seeds. So that's about it on the differences between uh, a nanner and a true hermaphrodite and a little bit of the in between. I hope you learned a little something, Green Gang. If you want to check out uh, some seed vendors that I like to uh, use, make sure you join the Discord. The link is in the description. I have a resource area where you can see all the different seed vendors I like to use. Make sure you join that. Make sure you come over to uh, Twitch. Me and Lantern like to stream over there pretty regularly. Uh, some video games and once in a while some plant work. Uh, like harvesting, uh, things that take a little bit longer that don't quite fit in a, a 10 minute or 20 minute video. Uh, check out Drya Black. She's releasing brand new uh, season of Canisash. Episode 1's already aired. Look out for episode 2. We'll see you on the next one, Green Gang.